Blessing Nails of Baldock Essentials. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, there's been a lot of online conflict in Facebook groups lately. Um, some of it that I keep getting pulled into. And, and all I can say is this. When you're in conflict with somebody online, the absolute best thing to do, rather than launch back in or pack up your bag and go home or decide that that person is terrible, is to ask. Some of the first rules in communication are to ask each other, hey, what did you mean by this? Hey, why is it that you said this? Um, or, I don't like the way you're sounding. You're hurting my feelings. This is how I feel when you do, you know, like nonviolent communication. And we talk about nonviolent communication a lot in Waldorf. Definitely not sold on it for little kids. But I definitely think that as we're older um, and as children get older, that's how we end up communicating in our homes in an effective way. When you did this, I felt blank. Is that what you meant? Did you mean to make me feel that way? Um, and I know it's really hard in, in Facebook settings, especially in a lot of the groups that I've seen, it tends to move so fast, so fast, so fast. And people are, rather than thinking what they're going to say, they're shooting out things. And sometimes those things come out really bad, really bad. <laughs> Um, I know I've probably said some things that have come out really bad, gone back and tried to correct them when, when, you know, I know that they hurt somebody's feelings or frustrate somebody, but if I don't know, then I can't correct it. I can't fix it. I can't remedy it. I can't say, Hey, you know, um, this is actually what I was talking about. And so also, you know, things to remember, the internet is a really hard place to discern tone. So, you know, you could say the exact same words and discerning tone is really hard um, when it comes to written across the, across the internet. And so it, I think it's, that's where it's even most important to really stop and ask. It's important to stop and ask what somebody meant. And, and I, like I said, I know that these, these Facebook groups and these threads move fast, fast, fast. And um, I think that if there's something that's really heated, it's worth asking the admins, hey, can you close commenting for a little bit just so that, that some of us that are maybe a little more heated can take a breath and figure out some better things to say so that we don't get um, caught up so much in the emotion. Because, you know, as women, we're very emotional beings. I think that um, we tend to wear our hearts on our sleeve. We tend to be, you know, fighting for whatever cause that it is that we feel needs needs elevation, fighting for our children, we're almost always ready to fight. And um, so I think that that comes across the keyboard and it comes across in, in what it is that we're saying. And you know, some of the biggest blessings that I've had over the last, you know, four years or so that I've really been active on Facebook is the fact that I, if there's something that really triggers me or that makes me want to yell and scream and choke somebody, I take a deep breath and I walk away and then I come back to it. And while I've walked away, I say a little prayer that I may that I may say the right things, that I may transcend whatever I might be feeling and actually say what needs to be said. And um, and so that doesn't always come through for, for what I write, but I really try. I really try to make sure that whatever it is that I'm responding to, I respond to with thoughtfulness. Now, sometimes it's really hard as an admin um, of groups, and, and I've left admining um, some of the bigger groups because I, I don't have the time to be into the, in that every day, and, um, and I prefer a much smaller setting for the most part, and so that's why we have our group like Ask Melissa, and um, that's why we have our um, Thank You, Feeling Willing groups for those that are members there. So we have that so that that it can be a more intimate mm -hmm. setting that hopefully the people in the group do get to know each other. When we have thousands of people in a group, it's really hard as an admin to rein in and make sure where everything is. And so, um, like I said, I, I left those big groups for those reasons that I really much prefer a, a much smaller setting. So consider that when you are looking at what groups to join. Also consider that you don't have to join every group. Often what I, see, what I saw when I was active on all of them is a lot of the Waldorf groups are talking about the same sorts of things. So you can feel comfortable, fairly comfortable, asking the same question in one place rather than 15 places. And um, so think about that. Think about the groups that you're on. If Facebook is a problem for you as a mom, I definitely think you should go, wait a minute, what is my usage? Now I have this app on my phone 
that tells me how many hours I've been on each on each uh, uh, app every day. And, um, and usually I look at it at the end of the day and I go, okay, that's consistent. I understand there. That was my German lesson. This was emails to somebody. This was, and then I look at the Facebook part and I, if it's out of balance, I go, okay, what was going on today that had me looking so much? Was my ego needing to be stroked? And so I needed to take some pictures so that people could put some likes on there. Was it that I was in a really heated discussion? Was it that I was talking to family that I haven't talked to in a long time? What was it? So examine what you're doing online. So, you know, think about those things. If you're admin in groups, don't be afraid to turn off comments. People get mad. People get really mad. Don't silence me. I'm not silencing. I'm just asking everybody involved to take a deep breath and step away for a few minutes. So I hope that's helpful to some of you. I have a lot of moms, a lot of messages lately about, and it kind of comes in cycles about all these Facebook groups and there's so many angry people, what should I do and which one should I hang on to? Or I get a lot of messages, um, hey, I'm just letting you know, I'm going off of Facebook. I decided that this conflict was so ugly that I decided I'm taking a, a long break. I'm gonna keep Messenger on my phone so that I can talk to you, but I'm taking a long break. And you know what, to that I say rah, rah, because I think there is amazing things on Facebook, amazing things. There are amazing causes that we can be part of, education that we can be part of either taking or giving to somebody um, there are amazing things that we can do with Facebook but there's also that element of it stirs us up and it keeps us going and um, and I'm not so sure not so sure that it isn't on purpose from those that run that um, I was listening to a lady at church yesterday and she said she had watched a TED talk and I'm gonna have to go hunt it down now that was um, by a Google uh, it was a Google executive he was a former Google executive and um, he said that uh, one of the things that he got to do was to pick what you saw, what was in front of your face. So they're very much about um, engineering things to frustrate us, engineering stories. Oh, you looked at this story, so so you must want to see a whole bunch of stuff about this. Or, oh, this, and oh, it looks like your name's being pulled over here, so you need to see this. So keep that in mind when you're using technology, especially today. You know, it's it's everywhere, it's very pervasive, and if you're on Facebook at all, then they know what your um, what your likes are, and so they are advertising to you based on your likes, and um, and they're they're bringing you stories based on your likes. And I'm not so convinced that that um, the morning, you know, when you pull up your Facebook page, I'm not so convinced that that's random. Uh, people have told me that oh it's just random it's just based on what your friends are doing I, I don't I don't think so I think that um, often you're seeing things that um, may be controversial on purpose and so I want you to take that into account and really um, check in with that I am definitely not saying don't engage I'm thinking that if you feel like that you can add to a conversation and you can do it in a peaceful manner and you can spread more of that or educate somebody in a non-condescending manner if you can be really careful about the words that you use then um, you know I think that you should definitely dive in if you can be um, sort of an ally for peace in that way then for sure do it it is dang hard and um, you know we've spent a lot of time especially this weekend re-examining and examining again some of our standpoints on things and, and to say please 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 Take care when you are in online situations. And um, when there is conflict with somebody and somebody really makes you mad and frustrates you or makes you sad and makes you cry, talk to them. Ask them first, what did you mean by that? That really hurt me. Because honestly, the person writing it probably doesn't know. <laughs>